The title of this message is Insanity in Retail or Retail Insanity. In short, folks, it doesn't make any sense. I repeat, it doesn't make any sense that there are shopping malls and retail outlets all across North America that are full of racks and racks of fine clothing and shoes and purchasable items of every sort that are all just sitting there, unused by anyone, week after week, with price tags on them, and either no one can afford them or no one can afford them in large enough quantities because they're all just sitting there, not being used by anyone. Appliances, clothing, anything you find at a mall, even jewelry, it's sitting there week after week, month after month, sitting there. Do we have a problem? Yes, we do have a problem. We have a problem. It's not normal. It's just not normal, okay? If you read the book of Acts in the Holy Bible, read the book of Acts, beginning right with chapter one, but the good stuff, you know, that, that really talks about sharing really opens up in chapter two, okay? Where it says no one, okay, in the church, people filled with the Spirit of God, even considered that anything that they had was their own, but they shared everything freely with, with each other, okay, as anyone had need. And that was 2,000 years ago. Here we are 2,000 years later with way more humans on the planet, way more opportunity to know the Lord and understand the truth about Jesus Christ and have ourselves properly educated up here about God and what he wants, and way more technology provided for us by our forefathers worldwide, and way more people in general. And we haven't figured out how to share clothing freely in large amounts in central places in our cities, and I mean freely, and, and other items? We haven't figured out how to obey Jesus Christ and the Holy Bible when he said it is more blessed to give than to, than to receive? We haven't figured out how to obey the king when he said freely you have received, freely give, 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 is the message of Jesus Christ, who is God. We haven't figured that out. It's blessed. It actually works. But we haven't figured that out. And we have shoe stores by the dozen that are full from floor to ceiling, a, a Skechers outlet just down the street, full, a giant warehouse full from floor to ceiling with all these insanely overpriced shoes that are not being used by anyone. We have store after store after store of clothing, shoes, fine jackets, appliances, mattresses, housewares, you name it, sporting goods, and they're all chalk full, week after week, with racks, full, and, and employees just walking around the stuff all day long, and no one can afford it. And, and, and just employees, there, there's, there's more employees in these stores than customers half the time. And it's all sitting there, week after week after week. Has anyone else noted this? Noted this? That, notice this, that this is insanity? That this is completely broken humanity at the basest level? We are supposed to, by God Almighty, be sharing freely what we have amongst ourselves. And when the Bible says freely, that literally means the word free. That means, okay, this is the mentality that God wants you to have. I kid you not, this is the mentality that I have. All that I currently have in my possession, right within my grasp, is, it, excuse me, is not mine. It's not mine. It's anyone who needs it. If someone asks me for something, okay, then I give it to them, okay? And, um, but I, the, there is something in just the like corporations. I'm like, why? Why is it all sitting in there? 
you know? Why is it all sitting there? And I'm like, mm, I, I can, you know, I could give a few things in my possession to like a local clothing bin or local shoe donation, you know, bin down the street. But <clears throat> in general, folks, you know, what, what about everyone else? Like, what about a revolution? What about people actually sharing properly? Okay. I, I personally just think it's totally insane that we have racks and racks of, of fine brand new clothing of all sorts, shapes and sizes, sporting equipment, same thing. Sport check is insane. It's the worst. Like all this brand new fine gear and it's all overpriced and it's all just sitting there. Same thing goes with, you name it, school supplies. Like just, I could name outlet after outlet and it just sits there week after week, week after week, okay? It doesn't make any sense. It just, it just, it does not make any sense, okay? Once you actually under, start practicing this concept of freedom, liberality, and generosity, um, you realize that it's actually blessed by God and that it's actually what God likes and it's what he actually blesses. It's like, do you currently have stuff on hand that you could give away for free? Do it and God himself will bless you. Like, you could name any, any company, any retail company, any, any shopping mall, any, any retail chain, um, any one of them you want. When are you going to start giving stuff away? When are, is there going to be generosity? Week after week. Like, do you know how much stuff? This is, this is just, just to hit this home to you folks. Do you know how much stuff there is in Walmart that will literally sit there, some of it for a lifetime, some of it for over 20 years. I'm not joking. There are hundreds, if not thousands of items in your local Walmart that will sit in that store for 10 years. And no one will use it just because it has a price tag on it. And they just, you know, it just, it's, it's totally insane. It's totally insane. Corporations and people in general have forgotten or never known the blessing of generosity that God has declared. When are people, st this is the answer that I'm coming to. This is, the, this is the summary that I'm coming to. When are people going to stop putting price tags on everything? And when are people going to start giving stuff away for free, like the Bible says, and like God says he wants it, and like God says is blessed? There, that was the conclusion I'm coming to. When is there going to be one man or woman or one retail chain out there with the spiritual wits about them to actually give away as much as they can for free? To put God to the test and say, we want to experience God-level blessing. When is this insanity? It's, it's like a cultural demon that everyone, that people think it's normal, that everything everywhere has a price tag attached to it. People can't even give anything away for free anymore. Even when people have a garage sale, they have to get a couple dollars out of every, out of even pieces of junk that they put out on the street. They're like, oh, that'll cost you a couple dollars. It's a cultural epidemic, but it's all rooted in sin and unbelief. Oh, if I give something away for free, Oh no, I'll probably be cursed. Oh no, I'll probably die. I'll probably run out of money. I'll, I'll probably, people will think I'm a fool. People will laugh at me. People will think I'm an idiot if I give something away for free. No, you're actually blessed. You're actually obeying God who said freely you have received, freely give. It is the sinful nature of man that says, you can't have something that I have unless you pay big for it. I'm calling this one out because it's, an, it's, it's beyond an epidemic. It's beyond an epidemic of sin. 
that, that everything in your city currently has a price tag on it. Usually a price tag that's too high, but everything has a price tag and no one is giving away anything for free. And worst of all, giant buildings and corporations and warehouses and people, obviously, that have huge amounts of these material things and food stores, they throw out produce by the day. I've worked in these places. They throw out huge amounts of edible produce every single day that they could put into a free bin right out front the door for, for anyone who wants to just eat it. The street people, anyone. I'm not joking. I'm like, why isn't this being done? I'll tell you why, because people don't read the Bible and because people have not been educated in the Bible and they don't believe in the concept of generosity. They don't believe that God blesses it. They don't believe. They don't. Up here, they have been programmed by the devil. They do not know how to give stuff away for free. They do not believe that God blesses it. Okay? So I call it retail insanity. And it is. It's total insanity. In short, it is total insanity that we have all of this merchandise, all of these appliances, and all of this stuff that we could all be using and all be sharing with each other like never before in the history of the world. And it's all sitting there in stores, on racks, not being used, with price tags on it day in, day out. And the same goes for food. It doesn't make any sense. We need a revolution. Okay, a sharing revolution. 